Hi, I'm Gabriella, and I go by Feeding Wolves. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can retarget your XSense data onto the meta humans using the MVN LiveLink plugin for Unreal. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to Unreal Marketplace, and we're going to make sure that we have the MVN LiveLink plugin installed. We are looking for the 2021 that resolves the bug for characters with extra bones. Now I've opened up a blank project. I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to make sure that the XSENS Live Link plugin is installed and I'm going to turn it on and restart. Now I've also opened up Bridge and I've downloaded this MetaHuman. I'm going to go ahead and export her with my project still open. It's going to take a little time for this to load. But once it's finished loading, you're going to enable all of these plugins and restart. Now we're going to locate our MetaHuman. We're going to double click. We're going to head over to viewport up here. We're going to select the body. We're going to double click on this skeletal mesh and we are now in the skeletal mesh component. We're going to go to character, bones, so we can see all her bones. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create asset, create animation, current pose. And we are going to name this T pose and save it in the content folder. Once we get here, we are going to press pause, go to the beginning. And now we have to straighten this out into a perfect T pose. So it resembles the XSENS T pose. So we're gonna select the arm and I am going to change the rotation to world rotation. And I'm gonna put zero, zero, zero. And as you notice, the arm is backwards. We're gonna set this to 180 and it straightens it right out. We're gonna do the same with the other arm. We are going to change this to world rotation. We're gonna zero this out and we're good. So, we're going to go to root now. We're going to switch this rotation to 90 degrees and we're going to rotate her so she is facing the X axis, which is really important. We're going to go back into perspective and we're going to go to front view and we're going to finish straightening out all of these bones. So we've already straightened this one out. So we're going to go down the list to lower arm. We're going to zero this out. We're going to go to hand. We're going to zero this out and you're going to notice the wrist looks weird. So we are going to put negative 90 in here. Perfect. And we're going to do the same over here. We've already straightened that out. So we're going to go to the lower arm. We're going to zero this out. And then we're going to select the hand. We're going to zero that out and then change that to negative 90 and we're gonna to move to the legs. I'm gonna zero this out. We're gonna do the calf next. The foot. And we're gonna leave the ball alone. We're not gonna zero that out at all. We're gonna select the other leg. We're gonna zero this out and you're gonna notice it pops up. So we're gonna put 180 right here and it goes back to normal. We're gonna select the calf. We're gonna zero that out, the foot. Perfect. And I am streaming in finger data, so I am going to have to straighten out all of the fingers. So I'm just gonna show you how you straighten out the first few, but you have to do this for all of the fingers from the index metacarpal, all the way to thumb three. So that can be really time consuming. I'm just going to kind of fast forward this a little bit. And I'm going to repeat the same process for the other hand. Again, I'm just gonna fast forward this. And now we have our perfect T pose. So we're gonna go to the top view. We're just gonna double check, everything looks straight. We're gonna go to the right view, it looks good. And we're gonna go into perspective. 
So the last thing we're gonna do in here is we are gonna select the root, we're going to key, apply, and save. So now we have to locate the skeleton. So we are going to go to the MetaHumans folder. We're gonna to go to common, female, medium, normal weight, body, and there is a skeleton. We're gonna right click on it. And we're gonna to go to Accents, Create Remap Asset. And we're gonna get this window. We are going to drag this over. And in T-Pose Animation, we are going to add the T-Pose that we just made. And then we have to fill out this remapping asset. And this can take a really long time because you have to put in every bone, root, pelvis, spine one, two, three, everything. So what I've done is I've actually copy this entire list and pasted it in here. So every time I have to do this, all I have to do is just um, select everything in this. I'm gonna go to copy, and then I'm going to minimize this. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit paste. And then you can see everything is filled out everything. So I've got spine one, spine two, spine three, spine four, neck one, head. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. I've got all of the fingers in there and essentially I save this and just reuse it. Um, if you have your own remap that you really like, you can minimize this, you right click, you can copy it and then paste it somewhere where you can access it easily. So now we're gonna go back into content folder and we're gonna create an animation blueprint. We are gonna select the MetaHuman base skeleton and we're gonna hit okay. And we are gonna name this Live Link Accents. And then we're gonna double click and inside of here, we're gonna right click and type in Live Link Pose. We're going to select this and while it's still selected on the right hand side, we're going to change this to MetaHuman Base Skeleton Remap. So now I'm going to open up Accents. I've got this animation that I'm going to stream in and we're going to make sure under Network Streamer Options you have it set to Quaternion and I am sending finger tracking data. So back in Unreal. I'm gonna loop this. So back in Unreal, I'm gonna go to Window, Live Link, and in order to see this, I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna go to Source, Live Link, OK, and here you have it. Back in our blueprint, we are gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna connect these two, compile and save, and now we can see the animation is coming in. In order to see it better, we're gonna locate our MetaHuman again. We're gonna drop her into the viewport. I'm gonna hit F to focus. I'm going to rotate her around and we're gonna select her body. And we're going to change this animation mode to animation blueprint and we're gonna locate our Live Link Extends blueprint. And now if we press play, we can see the animation playing. And there it is. Now, if you don't wanna be in play mode, you can go over here on the right, add a component, and type in Live Link Skeletal Animation, as long as you have your MetaHuman selected, and it's just gonna play the animation in your viewport. So I um, have specifically chosen this animation because I want you to notice how close the arms are to the mesh. They're not quite similar to the one in Accents. And if I move to the side, I'm gonna notice that the neck is really tilted forward. So I wanna fix this, and in order to fix this, um, we are gonna adjust the T-pose. We're gonna go to the right perspective, and I'm gonna select the neck one bone, and I'm going to push this 
I'm gonna change the rotation to five degrees and push this back by 10. You could push it back to five or 10, it's really up to you. And then we're gonna go to front view. I'm gonna select the arms and I'm gonna bring these up by five degrees. We're gonna go back into perspective. We are gonna select the root. Now, if we hit key, notice that it pops her back into the Y position. So we need to change the degrees to 90 degrees. We're gonna move her back into the X position and we're gonna key and apply. We're gonna go ahead and compile and save in our blueprint. And as you can see in the viewport, the neck is not bent forward like it was before. And the arms are not as close to the mesh as they were before. So I'm gonna show you how to record this data. We're gonna to go to Window, we're gonna to go to Cinematics, Take Recorder, and we're gonna select our MetaHuman. We are gonna drop her in here, and we're gonna select this, and you're gonna see this menu over here. If you don't see it, just drop this down right here. And we are going to uncheck all of these recorded properties, and we are gonna just check the body animation track. And the reason we're doing this is because without doing this, we're gonna be recording a bunch of properties that we don't need. We just need the body data. So this is gonna be less processing power for your computer. Now we're gonna go press play in MVN and I'm gonna hit record. We're gonna let this play for a little bit. And I'm gonna press stop. And then we're gonna locate our cinematics folder. And as you can see, there's only one animation, the body, which is great. So you are welcome to fine tune the T-pose and you can also adjust the remap asset. So for here, I've removed spine three you notice like the back area changes. If I add spine three again, you know, you notice these changes. So this is really a work in progress. Um, once I start learning more on how to fine tune this even more, I will be updating this video and following up with new tips and tricks. Now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you learned anything or made anything cool based on what you learned, please like, subscribe, follow, and tag me on social media so I can see what you made. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.